Jesus explains the rapture and the judgment. A decision has been made. Rima from July 7, 2021. Words from Jesus through Sister Claire. Spoken by Jackie. Jesus began. My heart is sick unto death, beloved. So great is the iniquity of my people that I do not wish to see it for even one more day. And yet, there are exceptions to this. There are those who love me with every fiber of their being. And yes, you are one of those. Do not fear. You have loved me with great purity of heart. Despite the destructions, the condemnations hurled at you by the enemy, even the invitations to worldly gain. Despite your failures, Claire, you have cleaved to me with all your heart, and I see your misdemeanors as petty and unworthy of notice. I know you are very careful, almost scrupulous, but this is not about you. The sickness Ezekiel is feeling has nothing to do with you. It is about the decaying, rotten corpse of my church. And yet you are of the part that is healthy and strong in love and devotion. How I pine away for my apostate bride. How I suffer with her deceased soul. This is why I must retire into your sweet devotion to me so that I be reminded there are many who have not gone that way. They are for me, not against me. They want the kingdom of heaven on earth with all their hearts. But those poor, misguided, uncircumcised souls whose consciences are sealed shut, for them I mourn. And the stench of their corpse reaches to heaven so foul is it. Listen, my people, you have gone the way of death. You have leagued yourself with hell. You have allied yourselves with those who have an empty, chalk-faced piety, but in fact are children of Satan. You have not sought my heart nor my will, but have chosen the ways of the world. Shall I then take you homeward, as if heaven were your home? That is my heart, but you are not ready, not by a long shot. You will better understand this after the rapture, when you see what the cost of belonging to me truly is, and you are willing to pay it. Those decisions you found so very hard during this time will not even enter into the picture anymore. Rather, it will be a life and death existence. Many of you will be murdered, some tortured, thousands executed for their faith, because they finally woke up to who they belong to. They finally saw they belong to me and never ever want to be separated from me, even if it means their death. I would like to spare you this kind of existence, but you have not been faithful to me. The rapture is for those who are faithful, have lived and sacrificed for me, have not thought of what they wanted, but have done only what was given them from me to do. They have borne the persecution and calumny of the ages for my sake, and remained faithful in doctrine and duties. They have not bent the knee to any man made God. Rather, they've turned their backs on those invitations, even when it meant their sustenance. They did not pass by the beggar on the corner, but gave even out of their own need. You, on the other hand, have compromised for the sake of convenience and gain. You did not stand for my choices to govern your country, and to this day you approve those with evil hearts, yet you call yourselves by my name. 
but I tell you, I do not know you. Time is running out for you. If you do not repent and change course quickly, you will be left behind with those who never knew me. And in the midst of travail you will be given a choice to return to me, though the cost may be your life. And for you, my bride, that has remained faithful, I will delay no longer. A decision has been made. Preparations for the wedding feast are completed. All that is lacking is your presence. I am coming to get you. Continue on this course, my precious ones. I long with all my heart to relieve you of the burdens of this world and take you to myself. Keep your eyes heavenward. I'm coming very soon. Well, after I finished this message, I just had a check in my spirit that I've left something out. I tried to reason it out and wrote it down for you. I'll share it with you. As I try to reconcile all this with the hope he has given us within the framework of two years, I'm struggling. I do believe the definitive judgment was made because of the slaying of newborns by the establishment. The clay feet have prepared well for this generation of apostates, and now other states are following suit. From kindergarten to university, their conscience has been formed by Satan and his establishment. From schools to music and films and stories, and what is rewarded in society and what is punished. He has formed the vast majority rising in power to accept that evil is good and good is evil. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, they know not their left hand from their right. Did you know that the tenets of secular humanists are precisely the same as the Church of Satan, point for point? Of course, they hide their vileness and deny any participation in ritual sacrifice and murder. But what they believe and profess, line by line, is the same as our corrupt government and secular humanism. But the older generation in power is so corrupted and compromised, for them it is as if there were no such thing as right and wrong. And so they have opened the door for Satan to offend God in the most unbelievable way. How can it be that a child born into this world is put to death because its mother doesn't want it? Why is it that these children are not given up for adoption? So many childless couples are waiting to adopt a baby. Is it the depopulation agenda? Is it just because the Satanists need the blood of newborns that they are put to death, frozen and shipped in boxes to some unknown location where they will be harvested for organs? I look at the landscape and all I can see are irrational people voting for these criminals and opposing our president at every turn. Tremendous opposition. They somehow have managed to be some kind of majority that is totally lacking in any scruples, to the point that they cry out against the man who can deliver them and applaud those who will later euthanize them because they are no longer wanted. Forgive me, Lord, if my opinion is contrary to your thinking, because your ways are so much higher than ours. But I cannot see revival in this atmosphere, although I can certainly see judgment, like fire falling on this nation. Jesus began speaking again. 
You are right in your thinking, Claire. Iniquity has overflowed and covered the earth. There is a rising tide of those who are fighting for the truth, but they are coming up against a generation convinced that my way is outdated, and those who follow me are enemies of the state. This blow to the heart of my father has ushered in judgment where mercy was planned. Keep your heart intertwined with mine and do what I said before you. Please do not fall captive to time. I am timeless. And as you dwell in my heart, you too will live without regard of time. And you will have my peace 